Welcome back to Cooking with Hannah Soul, and we are on day eight of our 25 days of cookmas, and today we are going to be making twice loaded mash. Yum, honey. <laughs> now, y'all, I already love mashed potatoes, but these twice loaded mash really do take it up a notch, okay? So let's hurry up and jump in and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is wash our potatoes. We're using just regular Idaho russet potatoes because we are leaving the skin on, so just give them a nice little chop, make them about the same size, place them in your pot of water, bring them to a bowl and cook them until they're nice and tender then we're gonna move on to the most important ingredient of the day bacon and now I don't really eat pork too often but I swear I eat bacon on a regular and I swear they two different things now I'm not here to argue with y'all cuz y'all know who y'all can argue with but uh, <laughs> we gonna move right along <laughs> so I like nice thick sized pieces cuz I don't like just those old crumbled up pieces of bacon bits so this is how I do mine and we're gonna let that cook and render down until they're nice and crispy Once your bacon is done, go ahead and make sure to drain it on a paper towel so it drains all of that excess oil. And then this is what you're gonna have. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our butter, add some milk and heavy cream to the pot and warm it up so that when you add it to your potatoes, all of the ingredients are warm and it really does help to make them so velvety smooth. And then your potatoes should be done. You drain them and you mash them like it ain't nobody's business, okay? So once it's mashed pretty good, go ahead and add in that warm mixture of our butter, milk, and heavy cream. Continue to mash and then add in some room temperature cream cheese. Room temperature is the key word here because anything less, cold cream cheese is gonna bring the temperature of our potatoes down and we wanna make sure they're nice and piping hot because it's now time to add in our cheese. Then we're gonna add in some bacon and even more bacon, <laughs> some sour cream, and then in a little bit, we're gonna add in some green onions and season it up with a little bit of salt and white pepper. So make sure it is completely combined and that you're tasting along the way. So once you've reached your desired consistency, go ahead and grab your plate or bowl, whatever you're using, and pile it up, honey. And then, of course, we are going to load these one more time because it is twice loaded mash. So although our potatoes are still warm, that cheese won't melt. So what we going to do? We going to get fire on them, okay? <laughs> now, if you do not have a torch, it's totally okay. Go ahead and toss it in a microwave. Cook it for a few seconds until that cheese gets nice and melted and ooey gooey. And then we're going to add a dollop of sour cream on top. And it's time to load into your heart's content. I am going to be adding more bacon because you can never have enough. And I'm going to top it with some green onions and chives. And when I tell you, you got you some good eating, I mean it. This pairs well with steak, chicken, just about anything. So as always, the full measurements and ingredients are going to be listed below in the description box, along with all the links to my single recipes, cookbooks, and even my new seasoning line. So I hope y'all enjoyed because as always, I did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And until next time, bye y'all.